So I'm rearranging our living space out in the backyard, all Pinterest inspired. And um, I just moved our adult area to the sideline. The kids area has always been here. Uh, there's swings. Uh, but now I've taken out the adult area from this whole patio and I'm turning this into... My name is Raina. They, yeah, they know my name is Raina. What's your name? Um, so, oh, this is new. So the adult area is now over here. Look at how cozy this little nook is. I still have to fix the cushions. Bella. Yep, Bella looks very cozy there too. So, um, so yeah, so the adult area has now moved to the lawn area. I have to level everything out, and I will. And uh, what inspired that was that there are so many holes in our lawn and it's primarily from moles and these are ankle breakers I don't know if you can see how uneven everything is but it's pretty bad uh, diggers aren't helping but that's gonna be the sand pit right there I'm about to level that whole thing out and make that a sand pit and this is our little un uh, under the deck swing area and um, soon to be sand pit this is going to be a little market right there uh, where the kids are going to sell stuff. I'm going to put some kind of fun banner just above. And um, all under here is just going to be splash pad, all PVC connected. I got this really awesome pitcher pump and I still don't know how to use it, but I'm going to figure it out. I've got pieces that are going to fit down. I just need to find some kind of well to put it under. Uh, to put it into but I got this PVC piece right here that's going to help me connect it to my whole system so I would like this to be some kind of kid powered water system that's coming off of here somehow and I want to do like a rock cement feature all along this whole area and uh, obviously it needs to be cleaned out but yeah, this is gonna be an awesome little splash pad. There's so many opportunities and I'm looking forward to it. So I just started out, um, got my pipes. Uh, one of these, I'm choosing the half inch pipes. And if you buy it in a bundle of 10, it's cheaper and you're gonna go through it. So, and it's so cheap. It's like, <laughs> how much was that? $12 or something, it's ridiculously cheap. So, um, so yeah, this is soon to be splash pad right here. Here's some cherry tomatoes growing right here. Uh, hold on one second. A what? A dinosaur bone back to dirty. A dinosaur bone? Yeah. Oh, here's a fun little table for them. Uh, and this is like some serious stuff. I got this at a yard sale. Look at this. It's pewter. And um, it's it's rich. Um, I could probably sell this on eBay and make a fortune off of it. But I got all of these pieces for uh, $15, and I'm keeping them. They're just perfect for outdoors, and it inspires a fun little mud station area or a dining area. So that's for the kids. Um, yeah. So these cherry tomatoes. Uh, my plan for them is for the kids to be able to just pick and eat while they're out here playing. And I plan to build my trellis system with a rope system. I'm gonna just let it climb right along this post. And then I'm gonna do some kind of lever that just hangs out and um, catches them. And just I'm gonna just string them along up top. Uh, at least that's my plan. So uh, yeah, this is their little play area that's about to be built out. I'm starting to think about what I, where I want to put stuff. So I've got my pipes here. Um, I'm doing this a little backwards. This time I'm doing it where how I want them to play first. So I'm positioning their heights and figuring out what how they're going to be able to manage the systems. But essentially, what I want is like a very complicated valve system that allows them to know when to turn certain pieces on and off and it's going to go all along up here and um, there's going to be splash buckets happening here and I think that I might have the splash buckets going somewhere along up here so it's not as invasive and then maybe a third one over here but I plan on 
just totally working with this place, uh, space and turning it into a really fun splash pad because look I've got like the cement part here and I don't have to worry about mud and um, the kids are pretty safe and it's an enclosed area so uh, it's right off their playground um, this area will also become a playground area it's it needs help right now this is where I'm stashing all of my supplies and I need to fix fences which is actually complicating all of my um, inspiration right now because uh, I, I want to work off the fence structure and I can't because it's weak so I almost have to stop and uh, fix this one problem before I can even begin with um, my plans for this space over here which is really beautiful trellis systems and um, forts. I want this to be a little city over here. I want them to be able to come out here and this just be a little city. This slide's just going to be hanging right down and uh, it's going to be fun. Anyway, so this is uh, the backyard bones right now and I'm going to share later with you how uh, it gets developed and my plans on how to do it cheaply and um, something that's sensible for the kids and uh, happy planning with your backyard. All right. Bye.